getting young people interested in science and engineering is the best possible way of ensuring that we've got the scientists and engineers of the future. And you can just sense the excitement, the atmosphere here, and I think it's given them the bug. They really want to be scientists and engineers now. Well, obviously, when it comes to applying the science, making the technology work, you're often then looking at crucial businesses like Jaguar Land Rover or Rolls-Royce. And it's great that they're involved in the projects as well because they're trying to recruit more and more people. In fact, uh, they actually, if anything, short of the kind of qualified engineers they need for the future. So they've got an interest in getting young people involved because that means people that they can recruit in the future. There's more to life than doing the easiest option. And sometimes you get the greatest satisfaction, the greatest sense of achievement from doing something that's difficult. And of course also, you know, when you get the hang of it, I don't think that the science and the engineering is more difficult inherently than other subjects. Sometimes people are a bit worried about them, but once they get involved, I think they discover that they're really enjoyable and make sense. Yeah, I think my generation, we, sadly, we're going to leave behind some quite big problems for the world. Feeding billions of people, trying to operate in, with climate change and ensuring that food still grows and that tackling the diseases of the future, having low carbon energy. All those are the kind of problems that we can see the world's going to face over the next decades. We're making progress already. But meeting these young people today gives me confidence that we really will be able to solve those problems in the generations to come.